गुड मॉर्निंग बच्चो गुड मॉर्निंग बच्चा लोग एंड आई होप एवरीबडी इज डूइंग ग्रेट योर प्रिपरेशन फॉर गेट इज गोइंग रियली ग्रेट बेटा ऑलरेडी वी हैव कवर्ड सिंपल मैकेनिज्म इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो एंड टुडे इन दिस वन शॉर्ट सीरीज इन दिस टूडेज वीडियो आई विल बी कवरिंग अगेन अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ थ्योरी ऑफ मशीन आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट वेलॉसिटी एंड एक्सेलरेशन एनालिसिस केयरफुल एंड अगेन दिस इज actually a very big topic but today in this small session i will be covering all the key points from where questions have been already asked are or there are very high chances that questions can be framed only those points i am going to touch beta clear hai na so let me give you a glimpse that in this entire video about what points we are going to have you know we are going to have discussion i will be discussing about i center method mostly this is asked beta i center what are the i centers how many number of i centers are going to be there hai na where are going to be the locations of basic i centers how do we use this i center method to calculate uh, velocities of any mechanism all these things we are going to discuss so i center method ke bare mein i will be discussing a little bit then we will talk about kennedy's theorem this is part of this i center method only kennedy's theorem ke bare mein we are going to have some discussion then we will be talking about angular velocity theorem again a very important thing but a very important th theorem then we have relative velocity method graphical method sometimes it may also play a very important role in examination and lastly i will be discussing brief about acceleration analysis and acceleration analysis say uh, generally lengthy questions are framed but objectives ke point of view say acceleration analysis is less important coriolis acceleration is a bit more important part beta yahan se mostly questions will be framed clear hai to chaliye one by one let's begin sabse pehle i will be discussing about uh what is velocity analysis what do we mean by velocity analysis very very careful beta देखो इन अवर सिलेबस वी आर हैविंग ऑल द मैकेनिज्म ऑफ डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम वन ओनली एंड व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम वन वाला मैकेनिज्म दैट एग्जामिनर विल गिव यू कोई दे हैव गिवन सम मैकेनिज्म दे हैव गिवन यू सर्टेन मैकेनिज्म फॉर एग्जांपल मे बी मैकेनिज्म समथिंग लाइक दिस दिस इज अ मैकेनिज्म विच दे हैव गिवन एंड इन दैट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर मैकेनिज्म this is pin joint this is pin joint this is pin joint this is pin joint one link is fixed degree of freedom one ka matlab hai that if i tell you only one link ka velocity so all other link ka velocity you can easily calculate this is the meaning of degree of freedom one to define velocities of all these links i need to tell you only velocity of one link here that is the beauty of degree of freedom one wala mechanism now exam examination may they are going to give you input link ka velocity orientation they will give rest other links ka velocities you have to examine you have to find out and this is what when i say this is what i mean when i say velocity analysis of any mechanism for this mechanism if i have to analyze the velocities that means for any one link velocity they will be give they will give and rest other links ka velocity i have to calculate clear hai and there are two beautiful approaches which we are going to follow two major approaches what are those approaches but a first one which i am saying as i center method very popular and this is one of my favorite also because uh, examinations ke point of view say this is also very important beta examination mein i center method se majority of the questions you can easily solve beta this is very very less time taking as compared to this graphical method also i center method second thing another approach which is known as relative velocity approach or some people also call it as graphical method beta graphical method now look here very very carefully when i say i center method what do we mean beta देखो हाउ टू सॉल्व एनी हाउ टू सॉल्व दोज प्रॉब्लम वेयर लिंक इज हैविंग प्योर ट्रांसलेशन सर फ्रॉम ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड वी आर स्टडिंग दैट 
एनी बॉडी विच इज हैविंग ट्रांसलेटरी मोशन लीनियर मोशन आई नो हाउ टू हैंडल दैट इफ एनी बॉडी इज हैविंग प्योर रोटेशन आई नो हाउ टू सॉल्व दैट आई 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 नो कि सेंटर ऑफ रोटेशन के अबाउट इफ एनी लिंक इज देयर विच इज हैविंग रोटेशन इफ यू कैन टेल मी हाउ मच इज द ओमेगा तो इजिली आई कैन टेल ऑन दिस लिंक ईच पॉइंट का वेलॉसिटी आई कैन टेल ओमेगा जस्ट टेल मी वॉट इज द ओमेगा सेंटर मुझे पता है जस्ट टेल मी हाउ मच इज द ओमेगा ईच एंड एवरी पॉइंट का वेलॉसिटी आई कैन इजिली टेल बेटा नो द प्रॉब्लम अराइज इज वेन वी हैव सर्टन लिंक विच इज हैविंग मिक्सड काइंड ऑफ मोशन neither pure translation nor pure rotation mixed kind of motion and mixed motion is something which we generally call as a general motion and how any link will look sir suppose this is a link which is having some general motion general motion ka matlab hai it's this particular point this is point a and this is particular point b point a on this link is having velocity in some random direction somewhere here suppose somewhere here and point b on the same link is having velocity somewhere here some random velocity some random direction there is no such relation here if you can identify where is the i center of this body so you can very easily solve this kind of problems beta and how do we find out i center beta For any moving body, you know, with respect to fixed link, with respect to this board, this link is having certain relative motion, and that relative motion I can see. Point A is moving this side. Point B is moving this side. Point A ki velocity ka just draw perpendicular, just draw perpendicular here, and point B ka velocity, you know, you know this. Draw another perpendicular, perpendicular to velocity of point B. these two perpendiculars you have drawn and wherever these two perpendiculars are going to intersect that is known as i center getting a point and from this i center you can see you can get a feel ki bhai this link is going to have a pure rotation about which about which axis about which point about this particular point getting my point clear hai beta acha once you know ki sir are any general motion in this world any general motion can i very easily connect into rotation this easily yes beta yes at this instant if you sit at this particular location this is the magical location which is known as i center or instantaneous center of rotation or some people also call it as virtual center of rotation if you are sitting somewhere here at this particular location so from this point you will see that From this point, point A's velocity is line of sight ka perpendicular. Oh ho ho. Okay. From the same point, point B's velocity line of sight ka perpendicular direction me. दिखाई पड़ रहा है. This is, sir. Any link from this point velocities whenever I am looking at this link points ka velocity is perpendicular to the line of sight. Perpendicular to the line of sight. इसका मतलब है that I am getting a rotation वाला feel. this link is going to have a rotation with some angular velocity omega now if i have already find out what is the location from where pure rotation ka feel i can get and if you can calculate this omega sir now the problem is solved you know from where rotation ka feel you are going to get you know how much is the omega to bhai on this link any point ka velocity very easily you can find out very easily you can find out sir omega pata hai you know the omega you know the center ka location any point sir this is point c find out the velocity of this point c what you have to do nothing sir center se connect this point c and perpendicular direction mein you are going to have the velocity sir velocity will be somewhere here this is going to be velocity of point c perpendicular direction mein omega you know the omega velocity of point c i can write i center say from center location of point c is how much just measure that multiplied by whatever is the omega velocity of point c very easily you can find out beta getting a point now you know the power of this i center method okay, sir just find out in the space where is your i center any motion believe believe my words 
any motion any motion literally any motion in this entire world if you want to see that motion as a rotation just find out where is the eye center and from eye center at least for this moment from this location pure rotation wala feel you are going to get getting my point acha ek aur cheez examination mein they will ask one question very important question ki bhai for any given mechanism tell me first of all tell me how many number of eye centers are going to be there to so, bete for each pair we are going to define one eye center for each pair we are going to define one eye center so for any mechanism for any mechanism which is having n number of links number of eye centers will be how much whatever is the number of pairs possible so that is nc2 permutation combination padha hai na in the school days that thing i have written nc2 two two ka pair i am going to make so with n bodies how many two two ka pair you can you can make sir nc2 the value of this comes out to be n n minus 1 divided by 2 this is going to be the formula and examination mein they are going to ask question based upon this ke bhai just tell me how many number of eye centers are going to be there just calculate number of eye centers that's it the very first thing which you can expect a question from the very first concept clear beta acha once you know eye center kya hota hai eye center is some some point in the space from where pure rotation wala feel you are going to get how many eye centers are possible if you know these basic things so you just have to do one thing ki bhai try to find out all the eye centers ka location and once you know all eye centers ka location very easily very very easily you can calculate you can calculate velocities now let me tell you how do we find out some basic eye centers some basic eye centers the very first thing few, few eye centers you must know everybody must know beta the very first thing if you are having turning pair turning pair means suppose i have two links this is link number 1 and it is connected to link number 2 these are two different different links and they are having a pin joint somewhere here this is the pin joint beta let me give it some name sir this is my link number 3 and this is my link number 4 intentionally i have not given it link 1 ha na intentionally i have not said it link number 1 otherwise many people will get confused kyunki last class mein i have told link 1 is always reserved for fixed wala link ha na so just because many people will start getting feeling ki bhaiya link 1 fixed link hota hai that's why i have written some some random name yaar this is link 3 and this is link 4 getting a point two links i have and for these two links if you want to know where is the location of eye center to bhaiya eye center means from where relative motion will be seen pure rotation wala if you sit at this point center of the pen this becomes your eye center let me write this center of pen is eye center beta getting a point center of pen itself becomes your eye center you will write ye hai this is my eye center and what is the name of this eye center for body 3 and 4 this is i34 everybody clear if you have turning pair location of eye center becomes your pen joint ka center itself first thing second thing second thing okay, sir careful 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 second point suppose if you have rolling pair but in case of rolling pair acha keep in mind when i say rolling pair rolling pair means there should not be any slip no slip should be there if slipping is happening for that condition you have to identify you have to find out again from the zero from the scratch where is the eye center but if there is no slip in that situation in that particular situation 
लोकेशन ऑफ आई सेंटर विल बी वेयर लेट मी टेल यू सर यू हैव अ बॉडी अ फ्लैट सरफेस एंड फिक्स्ड फ्लैट सरफेस एंड ऑन दैट फिक्स्ड फ्लैट सरफेस देर इज अ डिस्क विच इज गोइंग टू हैव रोलिंग मोशन प्योर रोलिंग मोशन देर शुड नॉट बी एनी स्लिप दैट्स इट दैट्स द ओनली कंडीशन दिस इज अ डिस्क विच इज हैविंग प्योर रोलिंग मोशन वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ प्योर रोलिंग बेटा प्योर रोलिंग का मतलब होता है दैट दिस डिस्क इज मूविंग विद सर्टन वेलॉसिटी वी सी एम वेलॉसिटी से इट्स सेंटर ऑफ मास इज मूविंग एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो हैविंग रोटेशन बेटा विद सम एंगुलर स्पीड ओमेगा से इट इज ऑल्सो हैविंग रोटेशन एंड आई होप एवरीबडी नोज वॉट इज द कंडीशन फॉर नो स्लिप सर नो स्लिप के लिए वी हैव अ ब्यूटिफुल कंडीशन दैट वेलॉसिटी ऑफ सेंटर ऑफ मास मैग्नीट्यूड मस्ट बी इक्वल टू आर ओमेगा getting a point this magnitude must be same now here actually this body is having translation as well as rotation both things are happening together general motion but if you want to get feel of pure rotation so just sit down at this point of contact this particular point of contact this is your eye center for these two bodies relative motion ke liye eye center define karte hai na to bhaiya this is link number 1 and this is my link number 2 so i center 1 2 ka location is this this is i 1 2 everybody clear everybody clear theek hai na acha whenever you see pure rolling the point of contact will become your i center that's it same thing same thing you can also say you can also say for example again pure rolling ka hi example i am taking here suppose if you are having two gears or you can say frictional disks you are having two frictional disks you are having this is one disk it is in connection with another disk bahut careful beta and these two disks are rotating about their fixed center getting a point so ye ho gaya this is my link number 1 link 1 ke sath mein you are having link number 2 which is having rotation two This is link number three, and again this is link number one, beta. If you want to find out how many eye centers are there, where are the locations, sir? Link one and two के बीच में you are having turning pair, so this becomes ये वाला जो link है ना this this point it is showing I one two का location. Pin joint just we have seen it. One and three they are having pin joint somewhere here. So link one and three के लिए you are going to have I one three. This is somewhere here. and between link 2 and link 3 if you are having no slip if slipping is not there so bhai this point of contact this contact point uh mark my word there should not be any slip if slipping is happening sir this is not going to do, this is not going to be the valid result you have to again do your calculation carefully but if slipping is not happening pure rolling if you have some if you have pure rolling so this location will represent body 2 and body 3 ke liye slipping is not there pure rolling you can get a feeling here also so sir this will be location of this is your i 2 3 beta everybody clear i 2 3 ka location you are going to have here clear hai na acha acha third thing suppose if you are having sliding pair beta sliding pair that means on a fixed surface this is a straight line and on that straight line fixed straight line if any slider is there and that slider is going to have sliding motion careful this is the slider and the slider is going to have sliding motion what do you mean by sliding motion sir it is having this kind of motion slide kar raha hai this is having sliding motion somewhere like this somewhere like this it is having sliding motion to so, bhai ye link this is my link number 1 ye link number 2 hai body 1 body 2 ke beech mein whatever relative motion you are having for this relative motion one eye center i can define and that eye center is on a line which is perpendicular to the surface where sliding is happening So this is the line on which sliding is happening. Draw a perpendicular line, and on this line, on this line, at somewhere at infinity, you are going to have your eye center, beta. 
गेटिंग ऑन पॉइंट बॉडी वन एंड टू के लिए आई वन टू विल बी ऑन दिस लाइंक विच इज परपेंडिकुलर डायरेक्शन में परपेंडिकुलर टू दिस लाइंक दिस लाइन वेयर स्लाइडिंग इज है एट इनफाइनाइट डिस्टेंस यू आर गोइंग टू हैव आई सेंटर बेटा है ना वाई वाई दिस वाई दिस आई सेंटर इज एट इन्फिनिटी बेटा अरे यार एक्चुअली दिस लिंक इज हैविंग प्योर ट्रांसलेशन लीनियर मोशन एंड लीनियर मोशन को भी इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सी एज अ रोटेशन तो भैया यू हैव टू सी डेट इन्फिनिटी इन्फिनिटी गेटिंग ओपन ऑब्वियस बात है फोर्थ थिंग दीज आर द बेसिक आई सेंटर बेटा एवरीबडी मस्ट नो अबाउट दीज थिंग्स नेक्स्ट suppose if you are having a slider which is sliding on a curved surface it may be on the convex part or it may be in the convex concave part slider sliding on curved surface sir it may be on convex part or it may be on the concave part doesn't matter results are going to be same what i want to say is ki bhai suppose this is a very big surface fixed surface and on that surface there is a slider which is going to have sliding motion this is a slider and the slider is going to have sliding motion how this sliding motion is going to work sir sliding motion is something this link is going to have sliding motion this is the block and this block is going to have sliding somewhere somewhere like this getting a point getting a point now i center if you want to find out what where is going to be i center this is link number 1 ye link number 2 hai beta and this is the center of curvature of that surface where a sliding is happening sliding may be inside means at the concave wala part or even if the slider is sliding at convex part sir outer surface mein it is sliding something like this ye slide karte hue this is going to have this motion even in this condition both of these condition mein i center ka location will be at this center of curvature getting a point beta this is going to be your i12 beta for this also for this also clear hai everybody is clear till this point Now, sir, some basic eye centers you have already calculated. Some basic eye centers you you have already calculated. <coughs> Listen carefully. <coughs> Rest of the eye centers के लिए you have to have some uh, some more theorems. and what are going to be those theorems the very important theorem is kennedy's theorem few i centers few basic i centers i have already got rest of the i centers you can calculate how do you calculate beta kaise calculate karte hain careful 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 uh according to mr kennedy's he says For any mechanism, suppose if you are having three links which are having relative motion with respect to each other, any three links, it is not necessary. कि भैया this is my link number one, link number two and link number three. ज़रूरी नहीं है that these three links are together. ना for any mechanism which is having link one, two, three, four, five, six, so many links are there. It is your choice. Take link one, take link four. and take link 6 no direct connection it is not necessary any three links which are having relative motion with respect to each other for these three links for these three links for let me write if three links are having relative motion with respect to each other relative motion with respect to each other so fir all the three i centers associated with them all three i centers associated with them 
they will be in a line with them will be in a straight line they have to be in a straight line they don't have any choice but they don't have any other choice clear hai acha now listen carefully sir if i take link number 2 link number 4 and link number 5 so for these three links which are having relative motion what are going to be the i centers sir whatever pairs you can imagine those i centers are possible sir link 2 and 4 ke liye you are going to have i24 2 and 5 ke liye you are going to have i25 and link 4 5 ke liye you are going to have this is i45 these three i centers they have to be in a line inko ek line mein hona padega they have no other choice beta one more example suppose if you are having link number 1 link number 3 link number 6 some random links again i am saying it is not necessary that link 1 2 3 le le link 4 5 6 na 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 they may have direct connection or not link 1 link 3 link 6 for any mechanism these are three links which you have taken into consideration what are going to be the i centers beta you are going to have link 1 and 3 ke liye pair i13 beta 1 and 6 ke liye you are going to have i16 beta 3 and 6 ke liye you are going to have i36 and these three i centers they have to be in a line these three i centers they have to be in a line getting my point getting my point how we are talking how do how we are calculating everybody is getting my point theek okay? hai now one theorem is kennedy's theorem another is angular velocity theorem acha before we go before we go for angular velocity theorem let me take one example where i will where i will show you how do we calculate location of all the i centers beta very very careful suppose we have a link some some general some random example i am taking uh this is link number 1 which is fixed ye link number 2 hai this is link number 3 and this is link number 4 beta clear hai let me show you pen joint this is pen joint this is pen joint this is pen joint dekho some basic i centers ka location you know already kennedy's theorem you know now you are comfortable you can find out all the i centers very easily very very easily beta sir this one is fixed how many links you can see here sir link number 1 this is link number 2 ye link number 3 hai this is link number 4 let me write down where are going to be the i centers sir 1 and 2 ke liye you are going to have one i center this is i12 2 3 ke liye you are going to have this is your i 2 3 3 and 4 ke liye you are going to have this is your i34 4 and 1 ke liye you are going to have this is your i center i14 these four i centers you have calculated and somebody who can tell me ki bhai how many i centers are going to be there there are total number of links kitne hain number of links are going to be four to so i centers number of i centers will be how many n n minus 1 divided by 2 Four into four minus one divided by two. How many, sir? This comes out to be six. Total six i centers are going to be there. What are going to be the i centers, brother? Sir, one two will be, one three will be, one four will be, two three, two four, and three four. These are the i centers. These are the i centers. We generally practice a uh, a rough. work also here you will draw a circle why let me tell you you will draw a circle and you have to mark these many how many these many four whatever is the number of link these many i centers you have to mark sir ye link 1 hai this is link number 2 this is link number 3 this is link number 4 rough work we are doing hai na four these four points are representing four links and what are the i centers you have already got 1 2 you have already got sir this is line is representing i center for 1 and 2 for this pair i centers we have already calculated getting a point similarly link 2 and 3 ke liye 1 2 you have known you have got 
I two three you have got, I three four you have got, one four you have got, one two you have got, two three pata hai, three four you have already find out and one four you have already find out. What is left beta? You have to calculate where is I one three and can I write? Can I write from the Kennedy's theorem? कि भाई दिस आई वन थ्री आई वन थ्री हैव टू बी इन लाइन विद वन टू टू थ्री वन टू टू थ्री एज पर कैनडी स्वरम भाई कैनडी स्वरम वॉट डज इट से इट से इट से फॉर लिंक वन टू थ्री ऑल थ्री आई सेंटर्स वन टू टू थ्री वन थ्री दे हैव टू बी इन अ लाइन दैट्स वॉट आई हैव रिटर्न वन टू टू थ्री वन थ्री विल बी इन अ लाइन एंड सिमिलरली इफ आई कंसिडर लिंक वन Four three. So for these three links, one four three four one three, they have to be in a line. So can I write? Ki bhai, this one three will also be in line with one four and three four. Let me write it, beta. Very easily. One three will also be in line with one four three four. One four three four. Now, where is one two two three? You know these things. Where is one two two three? The one two ye hai. This is the two three. One two and two three ko please connect kariye. And wherever these two, let me draw a line a little bit thinner. Sir, this is the line which you have drawn. One, two, and two, three. On this line, you have, you will get your I one three the location. Acha, it is also in line with one four three four. One four ye hai, three four ye hai. Sir, one four three four. You have, you will get I one three the location somewhere here. One person is saying that one three is on this line. One person is saying I one three on this line. Iska matlab hai. At the intersection point, you are going to have your I center I one three beta. This intersection point is representing I one three. Now everybody is getting my point. Similarly, one three is known. Now you can talk about I two four. Can I write, sir? Where is going to be two four, sir? Two four. Clearly, I can write. Look here. Two four will be in line with the two three three four. Also in line with one two one four. Look, sir, beta. वन टू वन फोर ठीक है वेर इज टू थ्री थ्री फोर बेटा वेर इज टू थ्री थ्री फोर सर टू थ्री ये है दिस इज थ्री फोर टू थ्री थ्री फोर वाला लाइन यू आर गोइंग टू गेट हेयर समवेयर हेयर समवेयर हेयर ऐसा कुछ वेर इज वन टू वन फोर बेटा सर वन टू ये है वन फोर ये है कनेक्ट करिए यू विल गेट अ लाइन विच लुक्स लाइक दिस wherever these two lines are going to have intersection can i write beta this is going to be location of i24 acha once you know all the i centers ka location uske baad now you can start calculation of speeds velocities how do we calculate how do we do that for that we have a very beautiful theorem which is known as i center first the very first thing which you have to do is calculate find out location of all the i centers further process we will start now but sometimes in examination they will ask a question simply ki bhaiya don't do any calculation just tell me just tell me where are the i centers ka location only location they have asked for two two marks question beta now we will come back here we will come back here but before that let me tell you another beautiful theorem which is angular velocity theorem what does it says Angular velocity theorem says. Angular velocity theorem says. <clears throat> angular velocity theorem says. Careful. Angular velocity theorem says. कि भाई suppose link two का velocity they have given. And from link two, this is your link two's velocity they have given, and they are asking to tell me what is going to be link angular velocity of link number five directly from link two. I can tell you link five's angular velocity. How? For that, you have to you have to have three i centers. What i centers? One i center from here absolute motion of link two is seen, which is i one two beta. You must know this i one two's location. One i center you must know. From where link five ka absolute motion you can see i one five which we call i one five and one i center which is common for these link two and link five which is i two five. If you know all these 
three eye centers. Again, again I am repeating. What eye centers you must know? One eye center from where absolute rotation of link two is seen. One eye center from where absolute rotation of link five is seen, and one common eye center for link two and link five. Clear, beta? If you know these eye centers, you can very easily write. Angular velocity theorem says, "Bhai, omega two." I one two say I two five distance must be equal to omega five. I one five say I two five distance. Look at this formula very carefully and try to understand what I have written. I have written angular velocity of link two one two say two five distance. Then omega five one five say two five distance. What is this two five two five common wall eye center? What is this one five? From where absolute velocity of link five is seen? From where omega five is seen? Similarly, what is this one two? From where link two ka absolute velocity is seen? From where omega two you are seeing? Getting my point? Getting my point, sir? One more example, sir. <laughs> Chalo. Let me tell you another example. For example, for example, for example, for example, suppose. Sir, from link three to link four, the velocity you have to identify. Imagine, karo link three to link four, the velocity you have to identify. How we write equation, beta? How do we write equation, sir? One i center from where link three ka absolute motion i one three. One i center from where link four ka absolute motion is seen i one four. I one four. One eye center from where relative motion link three and link four ka common wall eye center I three four you must know these three eye centers you must know now omega three is given omega four you have to calculate how do we write equation sir omega three I one three say I three four ka distance omega four times I one four say I three four ka distance everybody clear everybody clear बात समझ में आ रही है बेटा सारे बच्चों Now, acha angular velocity theorem will also it will not only help you in finding out uh, magnitude because bete omega three is given one thing will be given another thing you have to find out this thing you have to find out Re the rest of these i centers ka distance i centers we just have calculated all the i centers we have find out where are going to be the locations these distance i one three say i three four ka distance you have to measure. I one four say I three four ka distance you have to measure from the diagram you have to measure these distances beta getting a point now coming back coming back sir suppose this in this question you have calculated all the I centers ka location you have calculated I you have find out locations of all the I centers let me copy this diagram to a new page so that few things I can remove let me remove these These things, अच्छा, eye centers identify कर लिए हैं. Now, if omega two के बारे में they have given some information that omega two is something, something मान लेते हैं this is whatever something radian per second. Direction is clockwise, है ना? Clockwise आपको दे रखा है. They are asking to find out what is going to be location of omega, what is going to be uh, omega four. Omega four कितना है? You have to calculate. Link two से link four का directly you have to tell me the velocity. तो how can I write down the equation? बेटा equation will be omega two i one two से i two four का distance बेटा will be equal to omega four i one four से i two four का distance. Getting my point? Now everybody is comfortable. How I am writing this equation very fast? अरे सर link two से link four के बीच में you have to write down the equation. तो one i center from here absolute rotation of two is seen i one two. One eye center from here, absolute rotation of link four is seen I one four. One common eye center I two four I two four. Getting a point. One two say two four distance into omega two. One four say two four distance into omega four. Sir, omega two के बारे में they have given some information. This value is given. This value is given. One two say two four distance. How much is this? Where is one two say two four distance? अरे यार. One two say two four distance. Sir, two four ये है. One two ये है. One four ये है. Measure this distance. How much? Just calculate. Measure this distance. Put down this value here. 
वन फोर से टू फोर का डिस्टेंस सर वन फोर से टू फोर का डिस्टेंस दिस मेजर दिस डिस्टेंस एंड पुट दिस वैल्यू हेयर पुट दिस वैल्यू हेयर यहां पर मेजर एंड पुट मेजर एंड पुट इट हेयर कैन यू इजिली टेल मी कि सर ओमेगा फोर यू कैन इजिली कैलकुलेट बेटा एवरीबडी कंफर्टेबल ना सर ओमेगा This is given. This this value you have already measured. So something radian per second you are going to get. Something you have got your answer, beta. Comfortable? Now, sir, omega four के बारे में magnitude तो this formula will tell. But what about direction? How can I be sure about direction? And for direction, let me tell you one important thing: that that if कॉमन वाला आई सेंटर आई टू फोर इफ वन टू एंड वन फोर इफ दीज आर ऑन द वन साइड ओनली वन टू एंड वन फोर आई टू फोर के ऑन द वन साइड आई दर दे आर ऑन द राइट ओनली और दे आर ऑन द लेफ्ट ओनली आई विल से दैट ओमेगा टू ओमेगा फोर विल बी इन द सेम सेंस सेम डायरेक्शन में रहेंगे बेटा गेटिंग अ पॉइंट ओमेगा टू and omega 4 same direction if this is a situation or another case may be yes, sir i24 is somewhere here one side may you are having 12 other side may you are having 14 means 12 and 4 this 2 for common i center is at the mid in this situation i will say ki bhaiya omega 2 and omega 4 they are going to have opposite direction For this example, what we have taken? Can I say, sir, sit down at two four? Where is two four? Sir, two four is this. Two four se baat ke dekho. One two kaha hai, sir? One two is this side. Where is one four? Sir, one four is on the same side. This side. Both one two one four are are on the same side. So if omega two was given as clockwise, bete. If omega two was clockwise. Omega four, whatever you have calculated, it will be in clockwise direction, same direction, same as omega two. Everybody clear, ma? Clear? How I am writing this? Everybody clear? ठीक है ना? अच्छा, अच्छा. Examination में once they have asked one question, and what is the question? Let me. Tell you. Let me draw the diagram a bit more clear diagram. Question: May they have given that in a figure? Figure is given. They have given a link. Something like this. One slider is here. Another slider is here. And these sliders can slide on horizontal and vertical. Actually, many people can feel. Yeah, hey, sir. Ye to this is double slider crank mechanism, na? Ha, bata. This is double slider crank mechanism. Getting my point? They have given it some name. This fix wala is your link number one, your link number two. The other one, this is link number three, and this is your link number four. Proper diagram they have made. They have said. They have given one. As a dotted dotted lines, they have given. They have marked some points also. This point they are saying that this is your point L. This is point N beta, and this is your point M. This is your point M. Question: Me, they are asking. Question: Me, they are asking. The figure below shows a planar mechanism with a single degree of freedom. The instantaneous center, two four. For the given configuration is located located at what positions? 
I24 you have to calculate. I24 you have to calculate. And they have given some option. Ke bhai, I24 will be at L, M, N or infinity. Where will this I center be? Kaha par hoga? They are asking this question. They are not asking about velocity analysis. They are simply asking. Bhai, just tell me where is the I center? I center kaha hai? Kaise? How do we write that? Sir, few basic eye centers we already know. Let me mark those basic eye centers. Bata. Sir, link 1 ke saath mein you are having link number 2. Sliding pair form kar raha hai. 1 and 2 ka eye center will be where? Sir, it will be on this line. Perpendicular line pe I12 will be at somewhere infinity. Where infinity, sir? This side. Horizontal mein infinity somewhere there. 1 and 2 ke mein pata chal gaya. Now, link 2 and link 3, they are having pin joint. They are having pin joint. Can I write? Yes, sir. You will be having link 2 or link 3 ke beech mein I center pin joint pe you are going to have I 2 3 beta. This pin joint pe. Yani ki point L pe you are having I 2 3. 3 and 4 are connected. At this point you are having link 3 and link 4 ka I center I 3 4. At this, at this point at point M. Getting my point? Achha. Link 4, 1 ke saath, this is making sliding pair. Horizontal mein, this is going to have sliding. So, sir, just draw a perpendicular and on this perpendicular line, somewhere here, I 1 4, again infinite pe. Kaha par? Sir, perpendicular direction mein, wo infinity pe it is going to have I 1 4 ka location. 1 2 ka location, horizontal mein vaha, dur, infinite pe we are going to have I 1 2. Vertical mein, Perpendicular direction mein, at infinity distance we are going to have I14 beta. Sir, somebody is saying, sir, what if I say 14 is it will be on this perpendicular perpendicular line, but it will be upside infinity or downside infinity. Your wish. Your wish. Kahi bhi bol sakte hai. Sir, it should be on a line perpendicular to the surface on which sliding is happening. So this is the surface. Draw a perpendicular line. On this perpendicular line, either this side infinity or this side infinity. Getting my point? Now. Now. Few I centers you have calculated. Few I centers you have already calculated. What they are asking? They are asking about 2, 4. 2, 4. Draw that circle. Draw that circle. This is link 1, link 2, link 3. This is link number 4. 1, 2 pata hai, 2, 3 pata hai, 3, 4 pata hai, 1, 4 pata hai. Where is going to be 2, 4 beta? Can I write 2, 4 will be in line with 1, 2, 1, 4? Also in line with 2, 3, 3, 4. Can I write this? Where is 1, 2, 1, 4? Sir, where is 1, 2, 1, 4? 1, 2 kaha hai beta? Sir, 1, 2 is that infinite pe. Horizontal mein infinite pe. Outside the board. Where is 1, 4? Sir, 1, 4. Perpendicular direction mein. Outside the board. Infinity bhi hai raha hai. Connect these two lines. Sir, 1, 2 wahan hai. Horizontal infinity. 1, 4 kaha hai. Sir, horizontal infinity. You are going to get a line. From that point. To that point. A line. Which is going to be diagonal wala shape. Getting a point. Sir. I have drawn this line, but this line is not here. Because 1, 4 is not here. 1, 2 is not here. These two points are at infinite distance. This is at infinite distance. So draw that diagonal. Draw that diagonal in finite distance. Pe. Getting a point? But diagonal ka shape, it will be somewhere here only. As a shape you are going to get. Getting a point? This is the line outside the board I have drawn. Imagine kariye. And where is I2334? Sir, 23 ye hai. 34 ye hai. Draw this line. This line. And this line. Where these two lines are going to have intersection? Sir, these two lines are going to have intersection at infinity. Where at infinity? Many people will give. Answer is infinity. Sir, I, I agree. Answer is going to be infinity. But where in infinity? Infinity may at least tell me the direction. It will be horizontal may infinite. Or vertical may infinite or where? Sir, 
डायगनल एलोंग दिस लाइन इमेजिन कर लीजिए दिस लाइन इन फाइनाइट पे जाकर के दिस इज गोइंग टू हैव इंटरसेक्शन तो मैं ऑन दिस लाइन लेट मी राइट ऑन दिस लाइन लेट मी राइट पर along this line can i write sir here i24 will be at infinity along this line beta so what is the answer here answer is option d but getting my point feeling that's why i am saying that's why i usually say ki bhai many people will say ki bhai this is going to be at infinity but infinity mein where are nobody knows nobody knows that's where i say always just solving question is not enough beta you must have a feeling of the concepts you must feel the subject clear hai na aise questions two two marks ke question they are going to ask now getting a point how do we so if they are asking to solve question we can easily solve the question because i centers ka location once you have calculated once you have find out the location we have angular velocity theorem just put down the values measure these distances and you will get the answer theek okay? hai if simply sometimes they are asking location you can tell very easily location getting my point now another method I don't think anybody is having problem till this point, है ना? अच्छा, if in in case anybody is having any problem related to these videos, you can drop your message in the comment section. Definitely, either us, the teachers, or anybody from our technical team will definitely reply, बेटा. We will consider your valuable suggestions. Now listen carefully. We are talking about relative velocity method, graphical method. or in short let me write graphical method let me show you with one example beta directly one example and i will draw the velocity diagram for the same question acha for the same question which we have already taken na for the same question i am showing you how velocity triangle is going to look i have taken example of four bar mechanism it was looking something like this suppose this is pin joint this is pin joint this is pin joint this is going to be your pin joint this is the fix wala link all links ka dimension is given they have also given that at this instant what is the configuration this theta is given and this link input wala link it is making some angular speed omega 2 say it is rotating all other links ka velocity they are asking they are asking to draw relative velocity diagram and how do we do that let me mark some points this is point a this is point b this is point c and this is your point d how do we draw velocity diagram beta sir sabse pehle to all fixed point ko you are going to mark this is point a this is point d these are fixed points they are going to have zero velocity or zero velocity ko you are going to represent by a point vector this is a vector whose length is a zero yahi mera point a hai this is my point d All the fixed points I have represented here only. Okay, na? Now, with respect to point A, if I look at B, sir, this link is having only rotation, na? Omega two, I know. Omega two, मुझे पता है. This link का वेलो, this link can have rotation only. So from point A, if you look at this point B, so point B has no other choice. It will have link velocity perpendicular to the link somewhere here. Velocity you are going to have perpendicular direction में perpendicular and sense will be somewhere here if omega was anti clockwise so i would have drawn this vector opposite direction me getting a point you have drawn this vector copy this copy this this vector getting a point this vector magnitude is also known beta velocity of point b with respect to point a sir you have directly drawn it kitna hai ए बी डिस्टेंस मल्टीप्लाइड बाई ओमेगा टू मैग्नीट्यूड इज नोन डायरेक्शन भी पता है जस्ट ड्रॉ दिस वैक्टर एंड यू विल गेट 
location of point B beta. What is this vector representing? This vector is representing velocity of point B with respect to A. Achha, this is customary. Everybody does this. We are also doing the same. In this entire world, everybody has agreed that velocity diagram we are going to represent points by small letters. Everybody does that. We are also doing the same. Once you know the point B, point B se ho karke, standing here, you can draw velocity of point C. Achha, pin joint hai. With respect to point B, this link has no other option. Rotation he karega. And rotation hoga with what velocity it is rotating, I don't have any idea. No idea I have. But sir, rotation kar raha hai. Whether clockwise or anti-clockwise, no idea. But sir, rotation kar raha hai. So can I say point C ka velocity perpendicular to the link he nazar a raha hoga. It will be whatever is the velocity, link ke perpendicular direction mein hi hoga. Getting my point? Copy that. From point D, draw a vector somewhere like this. Draw a vector somewhere like this. On this line, somewhere, maybe this side or maybe this side, you are going to have your point C. I don't know. I don't know. How much is the length of the vector? Even I don't know that. But wherever is, point C will be on this line only. Achha, same point C. Same point C. With respect to D, if you will talk, so by point D ke respect me, point C ka velocity, sir, pin joint hai, it can have only rotation. So point C ka velocity kya ho jayega? It will be perpendicular to the link. Again, I don't know ki, sir, whether it is clockwise or anti clockwise. How much is the magnitude? Literally, I have no idea. Bata. Just draw the line, ki, sir, whatever is the velocity, it will be in the perpendicular direction to the link. It's maybe this side or it may be this side. Getting a point? This line you have copied, you have drawn, copy that line from where you are drawing this point D say. Where is point D? This is point D. Draw kariye bata. And wherever these two lines are going to intersect, that will tell you location of point C. But hey, your calculation is saying, bhaiya, point C will be on this line. Your idea is saying ki point C will be on this line. And there is only one point which satisfied both these lines is the intersectional point. Once you have got point C, कुछ नहीं करना है ड्रॉ वन थिंग ड्रॉ अ वैक्टर इन दिस डायरेक्शन वॉट यू विल कॉल यू विल कॉल इट एज वेलॉसिटी ऑफ पॉइंट सी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू पॉइंट डी पॉइंट सी पता है पॉइंट बी पता है ड्रॉ अ वैक्टर सर समेयर लाइक दिस ऐसा वैक्टर ड्रॉ कर लीजिए ड्रॉ अ वैक्टर अरे Draw a vector. What you will call this vector? Kya bolenge bata? This is the vector which is point C ka velocity with respect to B. It is showing velocity of C with respect to B. Getting a point. Once you have drawn this velocity triangle, whatever were the unknown velocities, you can easily calculate. Getting a point? Getting my point. How do we draw a velocity diagram? Now everybody is comfortable. Okay. Anyway, again, uh, Examination ke point of view, you must know both these things. Ki what is the isocenter method? What is the relative velocity method? You must know both these things. But examination may most of the time isocenter method is going to help you a lot. Bahut zada use karne wale hai aap log. Clear bata? Achha. Next we will talk about acceleration analysis. We have to keep this you know uh, video to the point very crisp. So only important points I am going to discuss with you. Otherwise, this entire chapter, when I am, when I will be teaching with you, uh, when I will be teaching you in our detailed comprehensive courses, it is going to take approximately velocity and acceleration com combined. It will take not less than 10 hours. 10 hours it is going to take. Okay? Minimum 10 to 10 to 15 hours. Beta. Okay? Now, <clears throat> How do we draw accelerations for any rotating body? We are talking about acceleration analysis. Careful. Acha, acceleration analysis, again, it is going to be a little bit lengthier. Why I am saying this? Beta, because for any body which is having rotation, Suppose for any link, this is the link, 
विच इज हैविंग रोटेशन अबाउट सम पॉइंट ये है दिस इज अ पॉइंट पॉइंट ओ के रिस्पेक्ट में देर इज देर इज देर इज सम पॉइंट ए एंड इफ फॉर दिस पॉइंट ए यू हैव टू ड्रॉ द एक्सोलेशन दिस लिंक this link is having at this instant it is having angular velocity omega and at this very same instant it is also having some angular acceleration alpha alpha opposite direction mein i have shown that means it is nothing but retardation angular velocity will be in radian per second common sense wali baat alpha will be in radian per second square common sense common sense देखो अल्फा मे ऑल्सो बी इन द सेम सेंस ऑफ ओमेगा देन आई विल से दैट दिस इज द एक्सोलेशन ये ओमेगा की मैग्नीट्यूड को दिस इज गोइंग टू इंक्रीज इफ अल्फा इज इन अपोजिट डायरेक्शन दैट मींस ओमेगा का मैग्नीट्यूड ओवर द पीरियड ऑफ टाइम इट इज गोइंग टू डिक्रीज बिकॉज दिस इज रिटार्डेशन डी एक्सोलेशन क्लियर है ना नाउ विद रिस्पेक्ट टू पॉइंट ओ इफ पॉइंट ए का एक्सोलेशन यू आर गोइंग टू ड्रॉ देर आर गोइंग टू बी टू कॉम्पोनेंट्स Whenever a body is rotating, the very one first component which is called as radial acceleration, बेटा, radial acceleration of A with respect to point O, क्या हो जाएगा? This is nothing but r omega square, बेटा. Centripetal acceleration always towards the center, from point A towards O. Direction हमेशा towards the center रहेगी, बेटा. Doesn't matter whether you are moving clockwise or anti-clockwise, doesn't matter. सेंट्रीपिटल एक्सोलेशन रेडियल एक्सोलेशन ऑलवेज टूवर्ड्स द सेंटर ही लगता है तो पॉइंट ए का रेडियल कंपोनेंट वाला एक्सोलेशन यू विल ड्रॉ वेयर सर रोटेशन अगर है तो फिर रेडियल एक्सोलेशन टूवर्ड्स द सेंटर नजर आएगा समथिंग लाइक दिस दिस इज द रेडियल एक्सोलेशन दिस इज द रेडियल एक्सोलेशन ऑफ पॉइंट ए विद रिस्पेक्ट टू ओ हाउ मच इज द मैग्नीट्यूड दैट आई हैव शोन व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ आर आर इज पॉइंट ओ से पॉइंट ए तक का डिस्टेंस गेटिंग अ पॉइंट Similarly, alpha tangent angular acceleration is here, and due to this angular acceleration, you are also going to have some tangential acceleration. And what is that tangential acceleration, buta? We represent that by a on the top of that t acceleration of a with respect to o. Tangential acceleration of a with respect to o. It is nothing but r alpha, buta. Radius is nothing but point o se point a tak ka distance, and Direction of this tangential acceleration is perpendicular to link OA. Perpendicular to link OA. Acha, in which direction, sir? Alpha is in anti-clockwise direction. So you will draw a line perpendicular in this sense. If it was clockwise direction, me, so then you would have drawn something like this. Asa kuch. Getting a point? But here in this case, we will draw this anti-clockwise, na, bata? So we will draw this. You have calculated magnitude. Ye hai. Tangential acceleration. Because this is the tangential acceleration of A with respect to O. If somebody is asking, to tell me what is the resultant total acceleration? So, sir, total acceleration, acceleration of A with respect to O, vector summation, radial and tangential ka vector summation. These are the vectors. Add kar lijiye, bata. Under root, magnitude will be how much? Under root, tangential acceleration square plus Radial acceleration square. Getting a point. This is the magnitude, beta. Clear? Hai? And if I want to show you the resultant, resultant will be where, sir. Resultant will be somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Resultant is this. ये जो vector I have shown. This vector, red color. Say this is velocity acceleration of. A with respect to O, absolute acceleration है बेटा ये, clear है ना? ठीक है? Whatever they are asking, they are asking magnitude. Sometimes they will also ask कि भैया how much is the angle? Very easily we can tell, very easily we can tell. This angle, if somebody is asking कि भाई what is this angle? तो tan theta can I write? Tan theta will be equal to perpendicular upon base. लिखा जा सकता है बेटा? Perpendicular is how much? Tangential acceleration divided by radial acceleration. That's it. Very easy. वेरी वेरी इजी अच्छा फॉर वन लिंक वेलोसिटी डायग्राम ड्रॉइंग ड्रॉइंग वेलोसिटी डायग्राम वॉज इजी वाई सर ओनली वन वैक्टर यू हैव टू ड्रॉ बट दिस टाइम यू हैव टू ड्रॉ टू वैक्टर्स 
first you will draw the radial acceleration then you will draw the tangential acceleration then you will take resultant and this is representing acceleration again from point a you will draw some other point b radial acceleration tangential acceleration then resultant then you will get point b getting a point so it is again going to be a little bit complicated complicated in the sense not tough but it will be time taking and that's why examination where they will not ask question here but examination where they will ask question definitely definitely from a topic which is known as corollary acceleration why because here tricky questions can be framed very easily they are not lengthy but they are going to be tricky and gate examination where they are never examination gate examination is trying to judge your aptitude getting a point they are never trying to judge your memory skills they are never trying to judge your uh, uh, how lengthy questions you can solve na beta na your calculator wala skills na na they are not interested they are just willing to check your common sense and general aptitude of engineering whatever basic things you have studied do you know how to apply them clear and that's what you need to learn when you are studying your college wala subjects university ke point of view say so approach is going to be different lengthy lengthy questions how do we solve this lengthy lengthy definitions how do we memorize them gate mein they are saying just forget all these things gate ka approach is completely different in in fact every competitive exam ka approach is totally different and for clearing any examination you have to understand need of that examination beta the day you will understand need of that examination you will start you know tracking those examinations sir for so many days i was not able to uh, clear any examination but all of a sudden during my preparation journey there was a point there was a time when i cracked my first competitive examination and iske baad to one after other after other after other so many examinations whichever examination i was appearing i was getting good rank in that you just have to cross that threshold you have to understand what examiners are thinking what is the need of that examination and gate may you have to build good conceptual clarity feeling 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 again i am saying feeling once you feel the subject you can very easily crack the gate examination beta again coming back to the corollary acceleration corollary acceleration what is the corollary acceleration beta suppose for any rotating link there is a link which is having rotation okay this link is rotating with some angular velocity omega <coughs> this is also having some angular acceleration maan lo ho bhi sakta hai but we are not going to consider that and i i will i will introduce alpha later on but abhi filhal ke liye we are going to focus only on corollary acceleration for any rotating link which is having instantaneous angular velocity omega and on that link if we are having a slider sir slider is this this is the slider and the slider is sliding on that link either outward or inward it is having sliding Sliding motion simultaneously, मतलब rotation तो हो रहा है and par in parallel to that, simultaneous to that, your slider was also sliding. Slider का sliding velocity, suppose outward direction में this is the velocity of sliding. If both these things are happening simultaneously, तो फिर this link is on a rotating body. So rotation से related both these accelerations which we have already studied they will come definitely they will come additional acceleration will be there जिसका नाम है corollary acceleration and that corollary acceleration is given as a on the top of that c it is given as two v omega what is this v v is the sliding velocity omega is at this instant angular velocity of this link on which slider is sliding clear है बेटा put down this omega put down this velocity you will get some acceleration unit if you have kept velocity in meter per second omega in radian per second to bete acceleration meter per second square mein you are going to get this acceleration theek okay, hai very easily very easily you can calculate now the question arises ki sir acceleration hai this is the vector quantity 
कैन यू प्लीज टेल मी द डायरेक्शन नाउ आओ बता दें लेट मी टेल यू द डायरेक्शन डायरेक्शन के लिए व्हाट यू विल डू डायरेक्शन ऑफ कोरोलिस एक्सेलेशन सर टेक वेलोसिटी वेक्टर देर आर टू स्टेप्स बेसिक स्टेप्स फर्स्ट वन टेक डायरेक्शन ऑफ वेलोसिटी नंबर टू रोटेट इट बाय नाइंटी डिग्री इन सेंस ऑफ ओमेगा गेटिंग पॉइंट सर यहां पर दिस इज द वेलोसिटी और वेलोसिटी को हमेशा एनी वेक्टर को इफ यू वांट टू डू इफ यू वांट टू रोटेट दैट वेक्टर ऑलवेज अबाउट इट्स टेल यू हैव टू रोटेट तो ओमेगा क्लॉकवाइज दे रखा है अबाउट दिस टेल वेलोसिटी वेक्टर को क्लॉकवाइज डायरेक्शन में रोटेट करिए यू विल गेट वॉट सर रोटेशन करने के बाद यू हैव गॉट दिस वैक्टर दिस इज कोरोलिस एक्सेलेशन दिस स्लाइडर विल एक्सपीरियंस दिस कोरोलिस एक्सेलेशन रोटेटेड क्लॉकवाइज डायरेक्शन में रोटेट किया है 90 डिग्री से बेटा गेटिंग पॉइंट कोरोलिस एक्सेलेशन ऑन विच बॉडी दिस इज एक्टिंग सर ऑन दिस स्लाइडर क्लियर है दिस स्लाइडर वॉज ऑल्सो एक्सपीरियंसिंग सम मोर एक्सेलेशन सो एग्जामिनेशन में दे मे आस्क दे मे आस्क भाई टेल मी व्हाट इज द कोरोलिस एक्सेलेशन यू विल टेल मी दिस टू वी ओमेगा वाला वैल्यू इफ समबडी इज आस्किंग टू टेल मी व्हाट इज द टोटल एक्सेलेशन आई एम नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन कोरोलिस टेल मी द टोटल एक्सेलेशन एब्सोल्यूट एक्सेलेशन और सिंपली दे विल से टेल मी द एक्सेलेशन किसका एक्सेलेशन दे विल टेल यू कि भैया एक्सेलेशन बताओ एनी पॉइंट ऑन दिस स्लाइडर इज देयर एनी पॉइंट स्लाइडर के ऊपर देर इज अ पॉइंट ए पॉइंट ए का एक्सोलेशन बताओ सिंपली दे हैव सेड पॉइंट ए का एक्सोलेशन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू पॉइंट ओ बताओ हाउ मच इज दैट सर पॉइंट ए इज ऑन दैट स्लाइडर इसका मतलब पॉइंट ए इज ऑल्सो स्लाइडिंग तो कोरियोलिस एक्सोलेशन भी आएगा इट विल ऑल्सो भी देयर रोटेशन से रिलेटेड ऑल दो एक्सेलेशन विच वर ऑलरेडी देयर दे विल कम रेडियल एक्सेलेशन टेंजेंशियल एक्सेलेशन दे विल कम न्यू एक्सेलेशन कोरोलिस एक्सेलेशन विल ऑल्सो कम इन टू पिक्चर नाउ केयरफुल 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 फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट मी टेक वन ब्यूटिफुल क्वेश्चन सर दे हैव गिवन कि भैया ये एक मैकेनिज्म दे रखी है दे हैव गिवन अ लिंक ओमेगा एंगल ऑफ लॉस्टी से दिस इज लिंक इज रोटेटिंग वी हैव आ स्लाइडर ओवर हेयर दिस इज स्लाइडर बहुत वेरी वेरी केयरफुल बेटा वेरी वेरी केयरफुल वन एग्जाम्पल एंड फ्रॉम हेयर एवरी डाउट विल बी क्लियर द सर दिस स्लाइडर इज स्लाइडिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन दिस डायरेक्शन इनवर्ड डायरेक्शन वी वेलॉस्टी से दिस इज स्लाइडिंग इनवर्ड and there is tangential acceleration also tangential acceleration is sorry uh, angular acceleration alpha is also given omega is there alpha is there simultaneously sliding is also there sir there is a point on this link which is point a point o se point a tak ka distance is given as suppose r This distance is given as R. तुमसे पूछ रहा है दैट टेल मी वॉट इज दट टोटल एक्सेलेशन एंड टोटल एक्सेलेशन हाउ डू वी कैलकुलेट दैट सर टोटल एक्सेलेशन ऑफ पॉइंट ए विद रिस्पेक्ट टू ओ सर दिस स्लाइडर पॉइंट ए इज ऑन अ रोटेटिंग लिंक रोटेशन से रिलेटेड रेडियल एक्सेलेशन विल बी देयर पिक्चर में आएगा रेडियल एक्सेलेशन कहां होता है बेटा रेडियल एक्सेलेशन विल बी टू वर्ड द सेंटर ऑलवेज टू वर्ड द सेंटर दिस इज गोइंग टू बी रेडियल एक्सेलेशन This is going to be radial acceleration. Tangential acceleration alpha is anti-clockwise. Tangential acceleration green color say I am showing it will be in this direction. Sir, what is this? Tangential acceleration. Acha. Coriolis acceleration bhi hoga. And what is that? What is the Coriolis acceleration? Sir, Coriolis acceleration will be two into v into omega. But direction kya hogi, beta? Direction will be velocity vector ko. इन द सेंस ऑफ ओमेगा रोटेट करिए ओमेगा इज क्लॉकवाइज ओमेगा क्लॉकवाइज दे रखा है ओमेगा को 
रोटेट करिए बेटा सॉरी वेलोसिटी को रोटेट करिए कैसे रोटेट करना है अबाउट इट स्टेल क्लॉक है तो क्लॉक रोटेट करिए क्लॉक रोटेट करोगे यू विल रीच फ्रॉम मेर हेयर फ्रॉम मेर हेयर यू विल रीच एंड एक्सेलेशन विच यू विल गेट दैट एक्सेलेशन लेट मी शो इट बाई येलो कलर कोरोलिस एक्सेलेशन विल बी समेर हेयर दिस पैरल लाइन पैरल लाइन गेटिंग पॉइंट दिस इज द कोरोलिस एक्सेलेशन बेटा अच्छा बिफोर दैट वी हैव सीन अ सिचुएशन वेयर कोरोलिस एक्सेलेशन वॉज इन दिस डायरेक्शन लिंक के परपेंडिकुलर अभी अभी वॉट वी हैव सीन इट इज इन दिस डायरेक्शन इट मे बी दिस डायरेक्शन और दिस डायरेक्शन तो सर हो सकता है समे समे दिस टेंजेंशियल एक्सेलरेशन एंड कोरोलिस दे मे ऑल्सो बी इन अपोजिट डायरेक्शन दे मे बी इन द सेम डायरेक्शन है ना तो डिपेंडिंग अपॉन योर केस टू केस कैन आई राइट टोटल एक्सेलरेशन क्या हो जाएगा मैग्नीट्यूड दीज टू आर पैरल मे बी इन द सेम डायरेक्शन और इन अपोजिट डायरेक्शन समटाइम्स दे विल बी एडेड समटाइम्स दे विल बी सब्ट्रैक्टेड डिपेंडिंग अपॉन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट केसेस अंडर रूट रिजल्टेंट ऑफ दीज टू कोरोलिस एक्सेलरेशन आइदर प्लस और माइनस इन दिस केस वी आर गोइंग टू डू प्लस है ना बट आई एम राइटिंग द जनरल फॉर्मुला कोरोलिस एक्सेलरेशन प्लस और माइनस टेंजेंशियल एक्सेलरेशन स्क्वायर प्लस परपेंडिकुलर डायरेक्शन में यू आर हैविंग रेडियल एक्सेलरेशन दैट्स इट बेटा दैट्स इट दैट्स इट दैट्स इट दैट्स इट एवरीबॉडी कंफर्टेबल पुट डाउन ऑल दीस वैल्यूज यू विल वेरी इजीली गेट रेडियल एक्सेलरेशन पता है व्हाट इज द फार्मूला आई नो टेंजेंशियल एक्सेलरेशन आई नो कोरोलिस एक्सेलरेशन आई नो एट दिस इंस्टेंट आर का वैल्यू इज नोन तो रेडियल एक्सेलरेशन कितना हो जाएगा आर ओमेगा स्क्वायर टेंजेंशियल एक्सेलरेशन कितना हो जाएगा आर अल्फा कोरोलिस एक्सेलरेशन कितना हो जाएगा Two into v into omega. Every value put, every value here, you will get the answer, beta. This is the magnitude. Getting my point? Okay, na? Now you know. Now you know. Everybody knows. The acceleration analysis me. Questions will be framed here. Gate me. Question puchenge and doesn't matter how much I tell you, but many of you are going to commit mistake. Why? Sir, simple si mistake. Very easy. This is very easy concept. But you will commit a mistake. कि सर क्वेश्चन नहीं पढ़ा हमने क्वेश्चन में दे हैव दे हैव आस्ड टेल मी द एक्सेलरेशन एंड सर आई हैव सिलेक्टेड दैट ऑप्शन दैट वॉज शोइंग कोरोलिस एक्सेलरेशन अरे भाई इफ दे आर आस्किंग कोरोलिस एक्सेलरेशन दे विल क्लियरली मैंशन कि भाई कोरोलिस एक्सेलरेशन बताओ इफ दे आर आस्किंग रेडियल एक्सेलरेशन ओनली दे विल क्लियरली मैंशन But if they have written, tell me what is the acceleration. That means they are asking total acceleration. Nikal ke batao. Getting a point. So in these points, you have to be extra cautious, beta. Okay, na? So that's all. These were all the important points. From here, questions can be framed in velocity and acceleration analysis. Already we have covered mechanism wala chapter. I hope everybody has learned something new. something important and in this chapter i have covered all the important points from where questions can be framed these are the those portions these are those portions from where mostly questions are asked but again beta this is a very crisp video very crisp video in detail in comprehensive courses whenever we are going to study this in this only this chapter i will teach you for not less than 12 to 15 hours beta clear hai we will again go into much deep we will solve some more numerical some more subjective questions also hai na so again uh, i hope you people have enjoyed you people have learned something new if you are literally enjoying this session this series so please let us know in the comment box theek hai and do share this informative video with all your friends who are really looking for good content of theory of machine clear hai we will meet in the next video till the time thank you bachcho goodbye love you all meri jaan